Hi, this is Rachel, and we're going to look at multiplying out brackets. So we have three questions here that are asking us to multiply out and simplify. Now, there are a number of different ways of going about this. I'm going to show you the two that are most common. So the first one, we've got three and then in brackets x plus one, and we need to multiply these out. So the way that I think that um, is probably the easiest way if you're beginning these is something called the box method. So what I do in the box method is I construct some boxes with the terms on the side and along the top. So I'll show you what I mean. So I take what's in my brackets and I split it into the terms with letters and the terms with numbers by themselves. So I'm going to have my x and my plus one. And I'm going to construct a little table. There we go. So I've got my x and my plus one down the side. And along the top goes what's outside the bracket, so my three. So there we go, I've drawn some boxes. And what happens in these boxes is me multiplying together the two things that are above and next to each box. So for example, in this first box here, I have three times x. So three times x is three x. And in my bottom box, I've got three times positive one plus one which is just three times one. So three times one is three. And I then just add these together to give me three X plus three. And that is this multiplied out. Now, another way of thinking about it is something I call the smiley face method, which is where we draw lines between each term and we use that instead. So I'll show you. So I'll draw a line there and I'll draw a line there. So I've joined up each term. I don't want to join up the two things inside the brackets though. So it's each term inside the bracket with what's outside. And these are just doing essentially what these boxes are. So this first line is telling me to do three times X, which is three X. And this second line is telling me to do three times one, which is three. And again, that just leads me to the same answer. So there's nothing particularly special about either of these. You can use whichever one you prefer. I personally use this, but I think that the box method is better for beginners. Okay, so let's have a look at this next one. So this time we've got two sets of brackets. So I'm going to do the box method again first. So this time I'm going to put one along the top and one along the side. So I'm going to do x plus 5 along the top and then along the side I'm going to do my x plus 7. So you can see how I've split these up the x's by themselves and then the numbers by themselves. Okay, and so the box works exactly the same way as it did in the first question. Each of these cells is the multiplication of what's above and what's next to it. So here I've got x times x. Now x times x is x squared. In the one underneath it, I've got x times seven, which is seven x top right box, five times x, which is five x, and my bottom right box, five times seven, which is 35. And then I just write them all out, like this. And that is my multiplied out version. Now, this is where you need to pay attention to the question because this question says simplify. So I can simplify this using my collecting like terms. 
So I've done a previous video on collecting like terms. So if you're not familiar, go have a look at that. But essentially what it means is that these two terms that both have an X in and an X on its own, not an X squared, I can add those together. So I will end up with X squared plus seven plus five, which is 12 x plus 35 and i can't simplify that anymore there we go now using the smiley face method and this is where it makes more sense for it to be called that i would link these two so the two x's the five and seven and then underneath the five and the x and the x and the seven so we kind of have two eyebrows a nose and a mouth that's why it's called the smiley face method and it may just be me who calls it that by the way but essentially it's doing exactly the same thing so this one is x times x which is x squared the right eyebrow is 5 times 7 which is 35 my nose is 5 times x which is 5x and my mouth is x times 7 which is 7x so I still end up with that exact expression that then gets simplified to that. Okay. Now we've got one more down here at the bottom. So I'm going to do again the box method. So along the top, I'm gonna to put my, well, I'm gonna draw my boxes first actually. There we go. It's kind of like um, a tic-tac-toe, noughts and crosses grid. So my 2x squared plus 3 and my 2 minus 5x there. There we go. So again, I'm filling in these two things multiplied. So what's above and what's next to it. So 2 times 2x squared. And this is where it's really helpful to be used to, be used to um, manipulating and doing calculations with these algebraic expressions. So 2 times 2x squared is 4x squared. In this top right, 3 times 2, that's 6. Uh, I'm going to do the bottom right next, so 3 times minus 5x. So 3 times minus 5x is minus 15x. And then this bottom one um, is, I'm just going to write it over here so you can see, is 2x squared multiplied minus 5x squared. So the way I go about these is I do my numbers first and then my x's. So 2 times minus 5 is minus 10 and then my x's. So my x squared times x which is x cubed. So that's minus 10 x cubed. And you know, this is a bit cramped. It might be better if you drew it a bit bigger. So again, then if I put these in order or at least write them out. So I've got minus 10 x cubed plus four x squared minus 15x plus 6 and I can't simplify that any further there we go and if I was using my smiley face again I do the same thing as I did here so I've got my two eyebrows joining the two first terms together and the two second terms together and I've got my nose joining the two middle terms and then my mouth joining the two outer terms. So I've got 2x squared times 2 for my left eyebrow, which is 4x squared. For my right eyebrow, I've got 3 times minus 5x, which is minus 15x. For my nose, 3 times 2, which is 6. And for my mouth, 2x squared times minus 5x, which is minus 10x cubed. And so I've got these, they're the same things that were in the boxes. So again, I just write them out and they look like that. 
So that is the box method and the smiley face method. You can absolutely use whichever you like and maybe there's a method that you prefer that I haven't mentioned. But that is us multiplying out and simplifying.